Hi, Coach Cyril here. Uh, I attended a kettlebell workshop yesterday here at Forge Barbell in Ann Arbor, where I coached. And it was by Ken Blackburn, who's an expert kettlebell uh, sport coach. He's got a, a facility in Fenton. Uh, if you can attend any of his seminars, I highly recommend it. And I just wanted to record some of the things that I learned that I didn't know uh, or I kind of knew, but that were um, re-enhanced uh, for me. And I've been doing kettlebells a long time, and I've had some pretty good coaching in it, but uh, nothing to the level uh, that Ken taught us. And I wanted to record what I learned, some of the things I learned, so that I can remember them and so that my athletes can re remember them as well. Uh, first of all, so kettlebell, you don't know, this is a kettlebell, and kettlebell is a hip hinge movement. It's all about the hips and the glutes and getting that hip involved and, and minimizing uh, the arms. And one of the things that, that Ken definitely taught is we wanna maintain contact with our arm and our body as long as possible, and then, on the way down, I want to lower the kettlebell before hinging, all right? So I'm almost coming and making contact before getting that hinge in, and I want to maintain contact because the object is to push my arm and the kettlebell away and then let it drop before doing the hip hinge. What I used to do and what a lot of people do is they start hinging at the same time the kettlebell is dropping. It's gonna make you more tired. It's gonna make, uh, have more stress on your shoulders. So I th thought that was a really excellent tip uh, that I learned that I will pass on to my athletes. And again, so that is maintaining contact all the way to your, the top of your arm and not just your wrists and your inner thighs, so you can get even more explosiveness and push that kettlebell away without using your smaller muscles. We always want to use our bigger muscles first, and then lowering the kettlebell first, and then hinging after the kettlebell is almost all the way between your legs. Hope that helps, and keep training.